What's going on guys, it's Dane Square. Today we're doing an experiment on my Marshall 412 cab here. Um, I believe either one or two of the individual speakers is actually lower in volume than the other ones. Now if you see that square <clears throat> on there a while back, I went through the entire mic, uh, to the entire cabinet and mic'd it, or checked it with the mic to find the sweet spot for recording. Well, as I was doing it, I noticed that one of the one or two of the speakers wasn't as loud as like that one is. That one I know for sure is uh, good. It might be a little bit inverted view wise, but that's one. That's uh, so a speaker one. You got one, two, uh, three, and then four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Top right. Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna do an experiment with that. I'm gonna go through and mic them again. I have my DAW set up with four tracks. I'm using each track for the, each individual speakers. I'm not gonna mess with any of the the um, bands on it, any of the the levels on it. I'm keep them all the same level. I got the amp level um, volume. I'm not gonna mess with any level on the volume. All right, so I went through and I recorded each individual speaker. Uh, no audio editing whatsoever on here. This is all raw, all leveled the same. Uh, using a Focusrite Sol uh, Scarlet Duo or Solo for the recording. Uh, volume was set here. I kept it where it was just green and not going red. So, and they're all were recorded at that level for there. Um, so, yeah, so I was able to go through and record all four speakers. All right, so after listening to that on like a loop for like a minute or so, I can notice that one and two are actually pretty solid. Three and four, however, on the other hand, sound down in volume and they sound quite hollow in tone. Um, I want to have a, I want to try something with this. I'm gonna go into my cabinet and swap the wiring around and see if maybe I, I highly doubt that's gonna change anything. It might. But I want to see if that may change something uh, with the volume wise. So I'm going to go in and kind of swap the wiring around. And we'll see what that does. And just for reference, this is a Marshall VS412 uh, amp. <clears throat> now I'm playing through it. It has four Celestian. I've already looked inside of it just recently. It has four Celestian G12L speakers in it. And here is the inside. It's Celestian, like I said, the G12Ls. All four. That's down there is uh, three and four on the bottom too. So what I'm gonna end up doing is taking the wire and just pretty much flip flopping it around to where up there the red wire going up here is gonna go down there. Uh, black wire. I know I'm gonna change the blue wire. This wire. Won't need to change, and this red wire won't need to change. It's mainly just three wires that gotta be changed out. Okay, so cabinets put back together. Everything is kept the same levels. Nothing has been messed with. Uh, audio is raw, and this is what it sounds like.
Okay. As you can tell, not really a lot has changed. Sorry about the speaker three. Uh, my daughter doing the recording and she kind of moved around. Um, just for reference, I am using a SM57 for the recording. If I was wondering. But as far as volume, I didn't really, that time, I really couldn't tell any difference in the volume. Um, but I do don't, not like... The, I do not like, I still do not like the, uh, how the three or four speakers are sounding a bit hollow to me. So I may change that just on, on that point alone. Um, but yeah, the volume wise, especially in the second time around with the new, with the rearrange wiring, it really didn't seem like there's a massive change in the, uh, volume. All right, experiments done. Um, went well. Not as big of a dynamic uh, change as I, th I thought it was. Uh, I was. I don't know. If, I might have to listen to the first set again when it was the original. Why I put everything back, put the cabinet back out was buttoning up and everything. So I might listen to that again just to check that. Out. It really didn't even on the first one. It really wasn't a huge dynamic volume change on it. Um, I had recently talked to a, a, a big guy on uh, YouTube, uh, Kyle Bull. I actually just recently found him. Got some great content. He's a metal player. Uh, you know, plays a lot of high game stuff. Um, stuff that I'm interested in. And I haven't talked to him on one of his chats about, you know, my issue. Where I thought was maybe an issue. And one of the things he said is if it's a big dynamic change, it could be causing damage to the amp by not giving enough pushback and resistance uh, ohms, which is what their speakers are measured on, ohms against the cat, uh, amp, and it could possibly damage the amp. Which I was like, ooh, don't want to do that because I like that amp, and I don't have I have like my two twelve Behringer you know, over there, but come on, that's a four twelve. VS100 Valve State Marshall Man, it's a classic vintage. But anyway, so everything went well. Catch y'all next time.